This week it was revealed a mother who admitted to killing eight children at a Cairns home more than two years ago will not face prosecution. The Mental Health Court in Brisbane ruled Raina Thiday was of unsound mind at the time of the massacre. In a rare interview, Sky News Cairns reporter Daniel Robertson spoke to Thiday's son, who was first to arrive at the scene of a tragedy that shocked the world. It was one of Australia's worst mass killings. We'll start with the tragic news that is coming from Australia. An unbelievable, unspeakable crime. Tragic and traumatic event with so many people deceased in one place. But it is just hard to comprehend and, and just obviously tragic news at this stage. Eight children were stabbed to death in a Cairns home, some while they slept. Seven were Raina Thiday's children. The other was her niece. The youngest was just 18 months old. It was late morning on the 19th of December 2014 when Lewis Warrior, Thiday's eldest son, walked into the Cairns home to find a murder scene that shocked the world. I saw them the morning, like, you know, what I seen. And then the very next day, me and my sister had to identify them. And that's hard, you know. Still covered in blood, that's hard. That plays with your head, you know. Yeah. To identify them covered in blood, oh, it's like you're watching a movie on TV, you know, horror movie or something, or CSI or something, yeah. Put it in good times, you know, just picture them smiling and yeah. While Murray Street is now masked with a cloud of violence, it was once a place of shelter, love and laughs. Because my mum, she's a good cook. Yeah, she's the bomb, yeah. Almost loving, caring. Yeah. Family time, people always come visit my mom. The house was alive, you know, yeah, with people. People doing funny dances, yeah, make the kids laugh. Lewis has fond memories of his seven siblings. As the big brother, he took on the role as protector. You have a really close bond in particular with All of them, husband? with all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all loved me. Every time I come, they would run in the front. Lewis is here, and yeah. Okay. Or if any boys pick on him at the park, they would come and get me, and then as soon as I walk around, they're gone. Okay, I was like, true. don't touch my little brothers again, you know. Little did anyone know that the mother of this seemingly happy home was suffering. There's some nights that I have dreams, bad dreams, like seeing my mum, like the kids are hiding behind me and she's coming, you know. This week it was revealed that all charges against the 40-year-old have been dropped. Raina Thiday will not face prosecution after she was ruled to be of unsound mind and experiencing cannabis-induced schizophrenia during the massacre. She will now be held indefinitely at the Brisbane Mental Health Facility. They all found that she lacked the ability to understand what she was doing and to control her actions. Psychiatrist reports found Thiday took the sound of a dove's cry to be a signal from God. She developed delusions that she was the chosen one and believed that the world was going to end. So she stabbed her seven children and niece to save them. Thiday had been smoking up to 20 cones of cannabis a day since she was a teenager, but she gave up just one month before the tragedy as part of a cleansing ritual. I think this really confirms in the worst possible way that, uh, you know, the, the consequences of this, it's every bit as hideous as, as I saw. Thiday had lived a hard life. She was a victim of sexual abuse and violence. Her son says she was crying for help. I forgive my mum because she's my mum. She brought me into this world. There's no way I can... Like, what she did was bad, but people got to understand that they don't know what she went through. Do you still love her? Yeah, I do. The home that was once here has now been demolished and replaced by a permanent memorial. Eight frangipani trees have been planted in memory of the lives lost. The small community here in Manura is slowly starting to heal. It was a terrible thing to happen, um, but yes, it has, I guess, binded us together. Yeah, I think it's slowly healing, like the, the community. As the case comes to an end, 
the memories of the children will forever live on. Lewis is now determined to live his life in honour of his siblings. It hurts, but I need to go out and talk, talk to people. I just see him smiling at me and I, I see him up there looking down on me like, that's not you, go and, you know, get a job and I know they're here, they got my back, you know, like, yeah. What do you think they'll say now after I run with every family? Yeah, they'll be laughing, smiling at me, yeah, real proud. Danielle Robertson, Sky News, Cairns.